Those two titles adding a little swagger to his walk. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion and the NXT Champion, Seth Freaking Rollins! It's got to be twice as nice carrying around two titles. I don't know, Saxon, that's a lot of weight to carry both physically and mentally. The target on his back is now twice the size. The double champ is here, and the level of oxygen in the room has changed. Holding those two championships, he's making his assault on the WWE history books. Burn the ships. Baron Corbin is raring for a fight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The lone wolf mentality is back. No one's safe. And his opponent from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin. A perfect hybrid athlete, size, speed, strength, and skill. Baron Corbin, one of the most dominant forces to attack a WWE ring in recent memory. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. Singles action underway with Seth freaking Rollins ready to go. Rollins is always ready for a fight, always ready to take on all comers. And the visionary isn't shy about saying so. Rollins is as talented and athletically gifted as he is brash. And the WWE Universe, well, they absolutely love it. They have serenaded Rollins to victory before. Let's see if it works again tonight. And he's got quite the challenge in front of him as he's facing a newly refreshed Baron Corbin. We've seen Corbin go through a lot of changes and phases here in WWE, but we're finally seeing his truest self shine through. And that true self is dangerous as hell. Oh, a torturous knee. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Gets tossed back into the mat. No. Baron just adding salt to the wound right now. Tossed caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Caught with a clothesline. Whatever's plan here can't be good. That was worse than being hit by a cinder block. Going up against Corbin requires sound strategy and focus. You can't take your eye off Corbin for a second because you can find yourself the victim of an all-out assault. Now you need a ring awareness that's off the charts just to survive Corbin's fury. Know where you are at all times and do not get trapped in a corner. If that happens, Corbin will use his Golden Gloves boxing experience to rain lefts and rights on you for dick. And will this be it? And they kick out at 
two. Able to squeeze that shoulder out so close. Repositioning their opponent. Looks like a neck breaker. Boom, bang! Oh, Seth gets caught with a counter. Big forearm. Good golly, Miss Molly! Ooh, sharp elbow. Rollins got caught believing his own hype a bit. Baron looking to push the advantage after that. Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. How quick was that? Oh! Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Oh! Oh, man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. The jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is, but they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Deep six by Corbin. His shoulders are down. The shoulder up at two. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Rollins dead to rights in desperate need of salvation. Countered it just in time. Oh, perfect kick. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Vicious right forearm. Things are looking dire for Baron Corbin. Something's got to change quick. Not what you want to see by any means. The night looks to be coming to an end for the Lone Wolf. Rollins looking to end it. Oh, Seth Rollins with a massive stop. We've seen this win matches for Rollins. Oh, and he just kicked out. The Corbin there showing a lot of determination to avoid the pinfall. And we know Rollins has a temper. You have to think he's starting to get in his own head a bit. Oh, a moonsault! Cover! Two! Ah, oh, what a victory! What a win! And the loser of this match offering a handshake. How about that? The winner oh. has uh, no interest. I beat oh. you. Get out of my ring. It's not about feelings. It's about victory. It's about winning and staying on top at all costs.
Here come two superstars made of pure athleticism. The Street Profits are more dangerous now than ever before. Yeah, they may still party, but it's all business first. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 492 pounds, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. These two dudes are legit. They're incredibly talented. They're tough, and they know how to have a good time that doesn't involve a bicycle museum. I even feel like dancing. Montez Ford is one of the best dressed guys in all of sports entertainment. And coming from me, that means something. Ford and Dawkins are still great athletes with tons of personality, but now they've made hurting people their business. And quite frankly, Byron, it's a necessary evolution for Dawkins and Ford. These two are ready to make the jump to the all-time greats of the tag division. Here comes a high-flying hunk. And their opponents, first, representing Los Lotharios from Monterrey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Humberto! You know, guys, Humberto comes from Lucha Libre royalty. Plenty of talent in his family. And Humberto's skills are second to none. Trust me, he will take that family to even greater heights. The age of Alexander continues. And from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander! Cedric Alexander has found success, whether flying solo or teaming up. Singles and tag titles on his resume already. Cedric has scratched and clawed for every opportunity in his career. Hopefully Cedric is not overly confident going into this match. It's an instant party in the WWE Universe whenever the Street Profits are in action. Montez and Angelo have certainly set themselves apart with a tremendous amount of swagger and athleticism. Yeah, Michael, it's that athletic prowess that has made the Street Profits triple crown tag team champions. When they want the smoke, they get the smoke. Well, Byron, we'll see how badly... Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. We're going to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. Oh, man. Vicious knee. And Ford had it scouted. He manages to escape it. He's burying elbows in the midsection. from the ropes. He thinks he has it. Just kicks out. He's determined to keep this matchup going. And Zagiri finds its mark. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT. And Zagiri. Comes in off the tag. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. Ah, look at this. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Big forearm. 
Hooked up. DDT. An arm breaker. Solely focused on punishing the leg. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. Get to the suplex. Uh-oh. He's turning the tables. Getting him into the corner. Fuck out, man. Double super kick. Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. Look at this. Corkscrew plunge under the floor. No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest. Release back suplex, ouch! Humberto's toughness being called into question by that offense. Yeah, as the Street Profits' particular brand of intensity was showing through there. A shot like that to the ego can really shake you up mentally. Ah, oh, that got turned around. Oh, arm drag. Got the tag. Got the tag. Oh, oh good night. Sorry. Oh. And will this be it? This match is starting to take its toll. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Looking wobbly in the corner. Uncorked a big punch. Oh, this, this may end it right here. Right oh, now. no! Canadian Destroyer! Reaches his partner for the tag. Position. Gets tagged in. Look at this somersault plancha to the floor. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. Repeated waist lock takedowns. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Stops the kick. Yes. Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. That's what they call me, the hot shot. These superstars' bodies must be racked with excruciating pain. This is the true testament. Who can dig down, pull the lever, and become the aggressor? Strategically play shot. He's been placed in the corner now. Boom! What a right oh gosh. He is just reeling from that offense. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Gets out of it with a well-placed knee to the face.
Rings of Saturn submission. Cinched in. Trapped and nowhere to go. Trying to muscle out of this. Look at the heart, the determination. What a forearm. <laughs> Tossed with the arm drag. We got a cover. Breaks the count. Almost inhuman at this point. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum. No. Stops the count at two. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Oh, impressive counter. Placing them into the corner. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. Grabbing a hold of the arm. He can't take any more of this. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. There's the tag. These two superstars planning a double team maneuver. How about a little revelation? Dawkins could be looking to end this. Cover! How, wait, 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 wait. How can that be fair? Come on, ref, keep these guys in check. Great reaction from Cedric. Expected that one. A running Hurricane Rana. The WWE Universe is absolutely on fire right now. I can barely hear you, Byron. I'm loving this. Uh-oh. Targets the gut to end the offense. Tornado DDT! Talk about devastation. One right hand, another, and another, and breaks up. Super kick! German suplex! What a hot shot. It's all the way to the outside. He got whipped into that corner. Oh, uncorked a big punch. I think I know what this superstar is going for. A uh, muscle buster. No, goodness. Shifts it back onto him. The WWE Universe has come alive in this one. They are up and they are vocal. A lot of energy in the room. Tagged in. Oh! Somersault plancha! Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all the strengths. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Brought down with a DDT. Oh, that got turned around on Dawkins. Cross their shoulders into a fireman's carry position down face first. Seamlessly transitioning into the rings of Saturn submission. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Uh oh. Wait to. Uh -oh. Oh, 
Oh, no, it's roll up. Forces the shoulder up after two. How this match is still going on defies all reasoning. Placed in the corner. Great counter. What a hit from Alexander. Right on the mark. Tagged in. Sidekick finds the mark. Hooked up. DDT. The WWE Universe is on its feet. And deservedly so. These superstars are holding nothing back. Gotta hurt. Set to the outside. No. Hanging on for dear life. Oh, my Lord. Nasty right hand. Answers with an enziguri. Crashing to the floor. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Dawkins was ready there. Running Hurricane Rana. Tag made. Fresh man in. here. Ah, oh, some taunting going on. Future matchup, perhaps? I'd say that's a highly likely possibility.
Well, he, yeah, we actually get a handshake. Shocking. <laughs> Refreshing, I say. I don't expect to see any more sportsmanship after the handshake. These two don't like each other, and they're battling for the same prize. I do expect a hard-hitting matchup, though. There's the battle. We've already seen the respect these superstars share for each other. That kind of respect is something that can take a superstar to the next level in their career. Oh, come on, Saxton. In WWE, you've got to hit first, or you'll be the one getting hit. Oh, she fights Scarlett back. Oh. Just a ruthless streak for the world to see. And there is no other term for that than just cheap, a cheap shot. Get in there, ref. She's pushed into the corner. Oh, huge splash. Just brutalizing their opponent with forearms to the side of the face. Oh, foot just stomping down. Counters that. Going to the cover. Only a two count for her. She's got to be upset that the count went that far. And Scarlett counters. Effective arm drag. Indy Hartwell is still relatively green when it comes to action in the WWE ring. How is she going to stack up against this opponent, Corey? Experience is a factor, Cole, but Roth perched up top. Wow, she misses the mark. Cole driving the elbow. Jarring impact. Boom, did you hear the impact? Scarlett's toughness being put to the test. And Indy Hartwell channeling that killer instinct of hers. Win at any cost. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Brutal knee to the side of the face. Attacks from the arsenal of Hartwell. The innate abilities of Hartwell on display. Indy wrestling with the early advantage. Sidewalk slam. Elbow drop. Piercing. She anticipated that one. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. And I think we just saw a good answer to Hartwell's killer instinct right there. Qualified. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. She's got her cinched in. Ooh, look at her answering back. Snap suplex. Or a pump handle. Pump handle coming. Pump handle suplex. Got their opponent set up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. Oh, man, what a boot. Forearm after forearm, vicious attack. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Oh, she fights Scarlett back. Can she score the pin? Well, the ref doesn't even see the cover. Valuable seconds passing as they're distracted. Kick out before the ref's count. She's really letting her opponent know how much fight she has. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, 
Oh, spike face first. She's compromised. DDT. Oh, God, that hurt. She's in a dangerous spot and could lose this. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. And now Scarlett is under immense pressure. Scarlett has to devise a new plan here. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. She's got her where she wants her. Watch out. Suicide dive. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. Indy Hartwell attacking the arm. Hammerlock DDT. Battling ringside, and our announce table is getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Whip back into the ring. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. And Indy taking flight. Oh, no! And that might have been too erratic of a decision to take such a high risk at this junction of the match. Refusing to let her get. Uh oh, full Nelson. Versus T.O. Scarlett's in a terrible predicament. Cover. One, two. No, my, that was close. How did that not end things for her? She's showing incredible resiliency. Is there still enough left to try that maneuver again, or is her confidence shaken? Taking flight. Diving body splash. for the respect they displayed belt to belt. Absolutely, Corey. This is a merited victory by far. Definitely a feel-good moment, guys. A well-earned and deserved victory here. Yeah, Corey, it's hard to criticize someone when they embody that level of respect. Gunther is here and ready to prove that the match is sacred. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. Gunther's all business. There is very little wasted motion in this man when he gets going. Well, there may be roadblocks in his path, but Gunther's dominance has shown no signs of slowing. Record-breaking reigns with the NXT UK and Intercontinental titles. He's put away main eventers and future Hall of Famers while defending those titles. The powerhouse of Gallus 
Wolfgang. When you see this man coming, you know there's going to be a brawl. And his opponents, first, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 255 pounds, Wolfgang! There's nothing subtle about Wolfgang. He's here to fight the best and be the best and smash people's faces in. Wolfgang and Mark Coffey won tag team gold within weeks of crossing the pond to NXT. Soon, everyone will recognize Gallus boys on top. Wolfgang operates at a special level of brute force. This is a one-man wrecking crew. It's not just a contest for Wolfgang. It's not a test of skill or a battle for pride. This is war. Here comes Dexter Loomis. There is a chill in the air. And from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 230 pounds, Dexter Loomis. Just the absolute nothingness go, go, go. when you look yeah. into Dexter's eyes, it's horrifying. There are sinister plans at work in this man's head right now. It is impossible to presume this man's intentions. Mind games personified, made real. I just hope Loomis wants to do an interview with Byron after the match. Uh, uh, no thank you, I, I have plans. Three superstars in the ring, and here we go with our triple threat match. Three determined superstars, I'd say. They all believe this is their match to win. Well, I did the math, and they've each got a clean 33.3% chance of victory. Oh, my God, a close line. Right forearm. Oh, that hurt. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Big splash in the corner. Oh, neck breaker. Evading offense. Got to find a way to get out of this. Down on the wind pipe. face buster. Physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Oh! Corey, the tide of a triple threat match can change at any moment. How would you suggest a competitor keep from being overwhelmed when that happens? I wait, 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 wait. And he easily stops the ref's count. I didn't think this match was close to over. Counter on Guther pays off. Boom! Slam! With authority. Oh, launching himself from the ropes. Guther cuts him off. Held in a perilous position. Oh, look to the throat. Oh, my God. Just never had a chance to block any of those. The sailing the joints of the leg. Ooh, just relentless. Turned that one around. Uh-oh. Look at this. They're setting him up. Double suplex. A brief instance of teamwork here, but how long is it going to last? And it looked like Guther was the one that cringed there. Oof. Nailed the midsection. That cold blankness of Dexter Loomis. Uh, 
gives me chills. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Bam! Down he goes. Locked in on the shoulder. You have to protect your shoulders from hits like that. You don't want to compromise your ability to throw a punch or lock in a hole. A warning and a challenge from Gunther. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. That kind of force on the arm can have lingering effects. Oof. Gunther moved at the right time. And no two ways about it. That move was just dirty. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him on arms. He can do it here. And he stops the count. Oh, short arm chop. Way to hang on. He's taking this to the floor now. Caught by the back of the elbow. Inside the ring now, he has no need to rush. And well-timed maneuver there. Don't come over here. Cole, quick, use Saxton as a human shield. Headlock applied, tossed without regard. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Both competitors showing how well they know. Gunter from behind, looking to cinch it in. This one may be over. Rear naked choke now locked in. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the... No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Ah. Face first with a waist lock takedown. Punch right in the head. Gunther with his opponent all the way up. And power bomb. Wolfgang's eyes look glazed over. Connects the fist to the face. Great counter. Elbow puts an end to that. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. And he gets set back into the ring. Well, kicks like that are less about injury, more about insult. Just mocking their opponent right now. Total disrespect. Drop him! Loomis, a scary look in his eyes, lining him up. Uh-oh. Averts disaster and finds the neck breaker. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. And no one could have predicted. Gunther wants to finish this. It's all Gunther's for the taking. He's still in this fight. Are we sure that wasn't three? Uh, just about as close as you can get. And Gunther definitely thought that would put him down. I can't imagine he's going to take it easy on him after such a defiant kick out. And Wolfgang once again takes on some strong offense. More and more harm being done to Wolfgang as this fight goes deeper. Using the elbow. Wasting up their opponent. Problem here. Elbow on the spot. Everyone watching this is on pins and needles. What a match. A battle for the eight. Here's the cover for the win. Got it. Sees the opportunity in this triple threat match. the impressive victory coming out on top against two very capable very prepared competitors i applaud all three of these superstars for pulling off a match like this
referee starting the matchup. Oh, and that's oh, one way to get going. And the referee's down already. The match just started. That fist the cuffs from the opening bell. This thing's going to get ugly. Someone's going to get seriously hurt if this continues like this. That's so exciting, isn't it, Cole? The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. Great wherewithal from Ciampa. Thrown back in under the ropes. And he sends him into the corner. And he's able to counter. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Continuing to attack the neck oh, across man. the top rope. Oh my gosh! What an uppercut. Champa avoids damage. Here we go. Time to work out some aggression. Neither competitor is backing down. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. Who will break first? That is the question. Mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stop to the gut too. Butterfly double under hook up and fairy tale ending. Champa might just have it. I think the fuse has been lit here, guys. Yeah, Sacked. And now we'll see if this is dynamite or a dud. Champa just looking to humiliate his opponent. What a counter! That didn't go as Joe pictured. There was some power behind that punch. Ball oh, from the rope. And Joe holding him at bay. Uh-oh. Thunderous power bomb. And set right into the corner. Low line to the back of the neck. And Champa showboating right now. An agile escape. Oh, that's a forearm that'll floor you. Vicious right forearm. Wait a minute, setting in. De and he escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. And that definitely made solid impact. Check this out. Just dead lifted up into a power bomb. A knee right to the face. The better part of Valor. Ooh, slows that down with a well placed kick. Champa isn't worried, and he is letting the crowd know it. He's trying again. Champa is in serious danger. the win. Here is your winner, Joe Coffey! I don't see how you can't be disappointed in winning like this. And how can you even celebrate a win as tainted as this one? Tainted? How?
Oh, come on. You saw the blatant cheap shot, Corey. All I saw was the drive to win at any cost, which they just did, mind you. And to that, I say kudos. The It Couple is here. The most iconic husband and wife team in all of WWE, according to them. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Maurice from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds. The Miz and Maurice are one of the most dominant pairs the entertainment world has ever seen. In the ring, on TV, on the red carpet, they are always a force to be reckoned with. They certainly do know how to keep themselves in front of the camera and soak up the spotlight. No denying that, Maurice and The Miz have made themselves inescapable. We are graced by the presence of two all-time great competitors. They inspire each other to be better. I'm inspired because they are their best when they are at each other's side. It also makes the cheating a little easier. He's a total blow. He's moving at super speed. He is the man called Axiom. And his opponent from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 154 pounds, Axiom! Axiom says he wants to be a symbol people can rally behind. Well, he's got the support of much of the WWE Universe already. He's got to watch his back because The Miz is ruthless and rarely walks alone. Miz always looks to humiliate and embarrass. Here we have one of the biggest names in all of WWE, the A-lister, The Miz. At least he'll say he's one of the biggest names in WWE. Like him or hate him, Miz has been successful everywhere he goes. Reality TV, Hollywood, and countless main events in WWE. Anywhere there's a camera, The Miz is going to do all he can to get in front of it. Looking at the A-lister, I think he's ready to star in another big-time victory and get his next chance to soak up the spotlight. Axiom soars through the cosmos when he takes flight to the point where you think he pushes the button on a jetpack to rise to another level. This is a one-man air show who is fearless. The faster the match moves, the greater the risk, the more focused Axiom becomes. Corey, we know that the Miz is... And shoulders are down. 
No, he kicks out. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Momentum is pivoted toward Axiom. Axiom is doing a great job remaining engaged with the opposition. Up high. Oh, got caught. Nice scoop slam. Boom, what impact. And that was not the kind of treatment for an A-lister getting knocked down a peg or two. What are we going to see next? Slight shot right across the back of the neck. Ouch. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Oh, he knew what was coming. Axiom sensed that was coming. Oh, Miz turns the tables. He escapes in a nick of time. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Single leg knee strike from the Miz. I'll tell you, if there was any doubt in his mind, the Miz just knocked it out of him. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. Oh, just turn that around. Soaring into the arm drag, spectacular athleticism. And this one might be headed ringside. entertaining and successful teams in WWE, The New Day. Enough with these guys already. It's The New Day! The following contest is a triple threat tag team match! On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 417 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston! 
What makes the New Day so impressive is the incredible bond these superstars share. Seems like nothing will ever come between them. They celebrate each other's successes and are by each other's sides in loss. Now you really can't help but be inspired by these guys. They've accomplished so many incredible things together. It's true. Historic championship reigns, memorable matches, the power of positivity has taken the New Day fall. It's Viking time! And at a combined weight of 552 pounds, the NXT Tag Team Champions, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders! Hard to stop this in terms of spectacle. An effective intimidation tactic. Vikings were smart warriors. They're waging a mental war. Well, it's working, because I'm pretty scared. And nobody's surprised at that. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. And at a combined weight of 439 pounds, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions and the NXT Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. Well, they create chaos, and Judgment Day thrives in chaos. Multiple teams facing off in this Tornado Tag match. In a Tornado Tag situation, you never know how Uh-oh, submission move. Ah, oh, this one should have been over, but he breaks the hold. Oh, from behind. Oh, wow, Steiner. Nice. There is a fine line between strain and pain. And your shoulder is working down. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. And if you take one too many of those, we know how this match is going to turn out. He's getting a little... And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver. Muscling his way out of the submission.
Rhea Ripley and Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Just look at the happy couple. Oh, do we have to? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Dominic Mysterio. Representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia. The NXT UK Women's Champion and the WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley! So, some have called Rhea Ripley the leader of the Judgment Day, so I suppose that makes Dom her secretary. Well, first of all, Saxton, it's executive assistant. And secondly, there are no leaders in the Judgment Day. They are a team of equals, equal partners. That's what Rhea and Dirty Dom are. They haven't even done anything yet, and they're already so smug. You'd be smug too, Cole, if you had a ride or die like Mommy. Fast-paced, hard-hitting action in store against Asuka. So either keep up or set the pace. One of the all-time greats in the women's division, the Empress of Tomorrow. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Eccentric, erratic, dances to the beat of her own drum. Don't let the bright colors fool you. There is no one in this division more dangerous than Asuka. I'm looking at her right now and I'm watching her body language and her intimidation factor has got to be off the charts knowing she's facing Rhea Ripley. Her intimidation factor is zero. And here we go with the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. And this might be the most dangerous we've ever seen her. And that's saying a lot. Asuka is determined to be on top of the women's division by any means necessary. No one in the women's division is safe from the wrath of Asuka these days. And she's in the middle of the destructive path of the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. A woman who has taken her domination to a higher level than ever. Rhea has been hell-bent on continuing her reign of dominance on the women's division. And she's not slowing down. Throwing down punches and counters out. A big knee to the midsection. Good timing with that reversal. Enzagiri drops him. Gets out of there in a hurry. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Off the barricade. Into a flapjack. Impressive. Oh, right to the leg. Oscar might have just been rocked there, which is usually something she does to her opponent, not the other way around. 
A vicious attack by Ripley, putting that wicked streak to work. Oscar retaliates. Tossed back into the ring. She's in danger of a count out here. I don't know if she cares. Boom! Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. If you're taking on Asuka, you have to be relentless. You won't take her down with one move. It's about burying her under a barrage of attacks. The only way to defeat the Empress of Tomorrow is to completely overwhelm her. Good advice. We've seen before what can happen if you make the mistake of giving Asuka breathing room to recover. Oh, quite an effective counter. Boot to the stomach. Down low with the drop kick. Ah, look at this. So much damage inflicted. Fails to connect on the springboard. Wait, wait, is she? Yep, looking for the submission. Rhea was just a step behind there. Oh, what for? Paying it right back with a reversal. And wait a minute, what's the manager doing under the apron? This is why it's good to have a manager. She can end it here. Big kick out. Wow. Ouch. Vicious, downright savage club right there. Oscar got out of the way. Drop kick. Asuka turns it around. Oh, man. Right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. She avoids the contact. Grabs the leg. Just tops their opponent. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. Tossing them aside. Ripley is headed up top. He is getting rid of the turn. Up high. Oh, she lands hard. Oh, strong impact. She turns it right around with a counter. Face first off the knee. Ooh. Impressive defense stops Ripley. She's in pretty bad shape now. And the cover for the win. This is it. The referee's attention diverted here. They need to get their head in the game. The count was stopped before it started. Incredible power to kick out at just one. Oscar with a kick downstairs. Not done from Oscar. Talk about explosive offense. Oscar reminding her opponent and everyone in the back that there is a reason she's been so dominant. Intensity. Thy name is Oscar. Bang. Going counter for counter. Now can it be capitalized on? Snapmare takeover. Oh, right to the spine. And Ripley getting laid into there. Asuka used every ounce of fury she has with that move. Kick to the gut by Ripley. Followed by Riptide. There won't be any coming back for Asuka now. You can never underestimate the will of Asuka. The desire of the Empress taking flight. Body splash. 